Our home ownership program allows for families who have been excluded from traditional loan products and credit to purchase a house that is affordable to them. We do that in large part by building and rehabbing new houses with the work of volunteers, much like our friends from Slipstream that are out today helping build Naisha's home. I think one of the things that's most appealing about getting to build these homes as all electric is that that's like a pipe dream for low-income people. We're gonna use geothermal power to heat and cool the home. Although we didn't get the Department of Energy grant, we built enough relationships and enough capital that we're still able to do that as a Habitat for Humanity affiliate, which when you think about it, isn't necessarily a kind of organization you would think would be able to afford and invest in a system like geothermal. And we are going to, because we have all of these donors that are helping us. We have um, subcontractors that are gonna drill holes for us for free. We have vendors that are going to provide us these heat pumps and this is it. This is the first neighborhood in record that's gonna be all electric. We have eight houses going out here right now this year, and each one will have their own separate well. So it'll be two holes in each, each lot. But uh, with the geothermal, it'll be a very efficient uh, way to do the house. It's all electric house, no gas into the house itself. So uh, we're excited about it and the neighborhood's excited about it. I feel really strongly about sustainability. Our organization has made that a priority over the years. Who would have thought that people who make $30,000 a year get to live in a subdivision that's like the very first one that'll be all electric in our community. Um, we have partnered with solar energy companies to you know, build community solar farms and enroll our families in that. But man, to think about what we can do as an organization to help our earth and to ensure that our families have this opportunity that they would not have had otherwise just makes me so proud.